look at the history of the last 20 years, and that takes us to the mid 80s. That was the time which was the bloodiest decade of them all. And where was Desmond Tutu? He was in the middle of it. This is the man who threatened to leave this country if we, in response to state repression, by way of revolutionary violence, embraced the so-called necklace method. Even that time was saying, we must go for the most effective but peaceful means. He's a man who's been leading this country towards a place where we could be counted in the humanity as those who have transversed diversity and come to be reckoned as people who embrace the notion of humanity. One of the foremost points is that we need to impact the young generations of this country to understand the values of peace and peaceful living. There are concrete projects that are in place. One of them is going to be the museum attraction, but that's not all. There's going to be an exhibition center. There's going to be an area where people are going to sit and reflect and research what the Desmond Tutu legacy is. There will be pathways to peace. So people will enter the building and go into the museum. They'll go to other parts of the building. Some may go to the places where there are lectures and workshops. Some will go to a place where there's a peace table, where there's a brokering of peace. Some will go to the museum and have an experience of our troubled past and how we solved it and where we are as a nation. Then they will move out of that to a contemplative space where as individuals they have to do an inward looking process of saying, I've seen all of this, what does it mean for me? And how do I take myself out of this space to be a beacon for peace for those around me. So we're hoping that people are going to come into the building and move out of it, having seen inside themselves and got a different sense of how to be with others. It's not just a South African thing. I would hope that the message of the Desmond Tutu Peace Center is going to be that peace particularly in this continent, is something that must be grown. Through the establishment of the Desmond Tutu Peace Center, we seek to convert the unique leadership of Archbishop Tutu over the decades and into the future, into leadership thinking and development for a new generation of leaders and hopefully peace builders that can build on his great and unmatchable legacy in this country. The concretization of what the Tutu legacy is with regard to peace is going to be the way in which there will be researches that are done and the building up of a curriculum. Possibly, in fact, I think the basis is there for a master's program in peace studies. I hope that the South African business community and the international community will see the value of this project and get involved in any way that they can. Ideally, we as the city would like to see this project completed in time for 2010, which would give us the opportunity to let the world see this positive mark of our progress as a nation. Let me finish by saying that peace as a foundation of sustainable development is a collective effort that starts with strong public leadership <clears throat> and ultimately rests on the shoulders of everyone else. One of the things that I hope the center is going to try and tell each one of us is a very obvious one. We are family. This is very simple and almost sentimental. If we want sustainable <laughs> development, Let's all of us live here saying we are going to tell the world we are family. <laughs>